what's going on guys it's been a while since I've done anything really Final Cut Pro 10 related so I figured I would do a quick tutorial on retiming this is useful for say like I have here a skateboarding video where you know he's doing a jump and you want to catch him right here in midair have it stop and then keep playing that it's a pretty useful effect especially when you have music and stuff like that so uh, but I'm also going to be teaching you something uh, make it go really fast and then just have it go to normal speed also a very cool effect maybe for like a time lapse or something so we'll go ahead and we'll first we'll do this little video here me solving a Rubik's Cube so I'll go ahead and hit shift Z so I can see the entire project or the entire timeline rather so as you can see I just start here and then I pick it up and just start hacking away at it so right around here you can see that it does get solved right here so it's solved and then I also do like a little cool thing after this where you see all the colors are on one end but so let's say until that point where you see my hands in the way of the cube right here ish that's where I, this end part here is the only part I want to have play in real time so what I could do is I could actually cut it right there select this portion of the timeline come up here you know, there's two ways to do this you can either go to fast and select a preset or you could just hit command R and that'll break up this little timeline here as you can see so I'll go ahead and I'll zoom into this a little bit so what I could actually do here is if I shorten this you can see here I'll hit shift Z once again you can see it's fast by 107 percent so it's, it's a little faster than real time 7 percent faster to be exact or I uh, continue to drag this and you can see it goes 140, 150 all the way up to about 600 times faster so I've, I've gotten the clip that was about two minutes now I'll go ahead and redo that down to about 15 seconds so you can do the math on that it'll tell you that it's 593 percent faster so as you can see when I play that back now it is going to lag a lot because it has to be rendered as you can see my cores will start doing that up here so I'll go ahead and I'll let this render. Alright, so now this is all rendered, so I'll just go ahead and scrub back through to the beginning. And you can see this is you know, sort of a cool effect, especially if you had like some um, rock music or some metal music or something here, just like a shredded guitar, you can see this would be kind of cool. Uh, so that, But we'll see what happens once we get to the end here. It goes from fast, it goes right into normal speed. It's a, it, it can be a pretty cool effect. Uh, like I said, especially in you know, like a skateboarding video or like if someone's riding a bike really fast and all of a sudden they just start going um, normal speed and the video just kind of fades out. So that's another thing we could do here is uh, have it like this. So show around the cube and right around there have it fade out so we could do that by hitting control V. Go up to the opacity and just drag this like so. And you can see sort of the effect that that has. So we'll go ahead and we'll open up that skateboarding video to show you guys another example of retiming. And I know it's not 1080p, but it'll have to do. So let's just kind of scrub through this. By the way, this is not my video. There's a link in the, in the description to this video. I just thought I'd make a good example. So uh, go ahead and check out this video. It's a very cool gap if you're into skateboarding or anything like that. So we'll find him where he's uh, cruising along here. We'll cut it around here. So here's the clip we'll be working with. I'll go ahead and zoom into this a little bit. Alright, so that's what we're going to be working with here. So, you also have this uh, birdhouse thing at the end. We're going to go ahead and cut that out. Till right about there. So, now this is the clip we'll be working with. So, we're going to find the spot where he's in midair. We'll kind of just scrub through where he's at his highest point, which is right around there. And now we can hit uh, over here, click hold. You can also do uh, shift H, as you saw by that little uh, shortcut here. That little arrow is shift. So uh, we'll actually just do that. We'll go right to that point and we'll hit Shift H. And as you can see, it'll add that little hold there. So this is basically like a freeze frame. So we'll go ahead and we'll see what happens. Now he's in the air. Now he lands. We could also uh, make that longer or shorter. So we'll just we'll make it a little shorter there. So that effect is very commonly used in skateboarding videos, any really extreme sports. Even just in commercials, I mean, you'll see something like this. The music might stop here and then continue. Uh, so this is just a very quick tutorial on retiming. Uh, like I was saying as of before, you could also make this faster. And then you could even, like, slow that down. So you can have it be going real fast, stop, and then kind of do the whole gap in slow motion. 
So I hope this video helped you guys. It's just a very quick tutorial. I hope I hope to do more Final Cut 10 tutorials in the future. I mean, I'm, I'm by no means a video editing professional or anything, but I like to think I have a somewhat decent understanding of the uh, video editing applications, and uh, I've had some requests for some tutorials. So here you guys go. If you have any uh, other other requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Email me. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm at CPU Kid. And be sure to check out all my other Final Cut 10 videos, Hackintosh videos, product reviews and unboxings, etc, etc. So before this video gets any longer, thanks for watching.